Okay, so what we're going to do here is take two jars and fill them with water, uh, just a little bit in the bottom of each one. And in one of the jars, we're going to take some Eno and put that in. And what the Eno does, it's just an effervescent, and it will cause the water to bubble uh, with carbon dioxide. And so the atmosphere of one of the jars will be filled with carbon dioxide, and the atmosphere of the other jar will just be uh, regular air uh, as it is now. Then, after we, uh, we do this, we'll, uh, we'll put the, the lids on the jars. Um, we're not going to seal them very tightly so that the, you know, we don't want any pressure building up in the CO2 jar. Uh, and I've already pre-drilled uh, a little hole in the lids of the mason jars um, just so we can stick the thermometer in. I'm going to put a piece of tape on, on the hole so the CO2 doesn't escape. And I'm just writing CO2 on the jar that had the Eno in it. Um, then we're going to go take these jars and we're going to go stick them in the sunshine for about an hour. Uh, actually it ends up to be about an hour and a half in the video. Uh, later on I'm going to be speeding it up because it takes a long time for the thermometer to react to the air. You'll see my voice uh, starts to get quite high. So there they are sitting in the sun. Um, the uh, jar with the CO2 is on the right, and uh, okay, so here we're coming back about an hour later. Two hours? Uh, an two? hour, I guess 90 minutes yeah, later, uh, and let's, let's see what happens. I got my handy meter. So it'll probably take a little while to stabilize. See that? Looks like we're 20. And six. And this is in the pure water one. 21. And then the CO2 will be next. Let's just see what we're picking up. Still climbing. Looks like we're going to settle around 23 degrees. I'll pause it and I'll just check back in a second. All right, it seems to have slowed right down, so we'll call that 25.5 there. 20, it's 25.5 and it's actually dropped a little bit 25.4, so we'll call that one the Ottawa one. It seems like it's sort of the water one. So there we are, 25.4 pure water and air. And let's go over to the water. Carbon dioxide one. Let's see what happens. In theory, carbon dioxide should make it warmer. <laughs> so we're at twenty six. Let's put this in focus here. Come on. We're coming up on a degree warmer. There it is, one full degree. That's the effect of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Twenty-five 
26.7 versus 25.5. Six point eight. So that's going to stop there. That's twenty six point nine. I'm going to get to twenty seven. Twenty seven. Just to see, let's cross check. Go back into here. Temperature drops. Look at that. Back in the water and just with normal air. 25. So definitely we have a warmer jar. And the only difference is there's CO2 in the atmosphere in that jar. Go back. So, anyway, I think that proves it for me. See ya.